So I just finished a really intense ab workout with someone that I've never trained in the gym before and it was a really a good training session and I learned a new well I learned some new things by observing the person that I was training in the gym and yeah it just made me learn some things about how to teach people even further how to perfect their form with specific ab exercises and as I got back well as I was leaving the gym I thought I'd make a video that I wanted to make that I thought about earlier on in the day and yeah the abs for the blood it was really intense sweaty workout I definitely burnt lots of calories you have to actually wear a t-shirt in there which is a shame so yeah just hold my t-shirt up it's really sweaty so now to the topic of the video so yeah for about the last two months in comparison to the intermittent fasting videos I used to make prior to that, I have found that the amount of engagement that I'm getting on the views, like how long people are watching the videos for, how many views I'm getting and so forth, have been the lowest that they've been in a long time on my intermittent fasting videos, which is a little bit disheartening. But what I will say is, when it started to decline is when my main channel Sunfruit Dan got shut down that had almost 90,000 subscribers and it was way bigger than this channel. So it seems what I've become aware of recently, a lot of the traffic, not all of the traffic, was being redirected from that channel. And sorry about any loud vehicles that go past, but I can't avoid that completely. Yeah, because I put links to this channel in it and sometimes mention it. So a lot of the traffic was coming from there, not all of it, like I'd said, but quite a bit of it. And I'm gonna try and avoid the cars and that as much as possible and walk around, but sorry for any noise that there is, I can't avoid it. So yeah, that is one factor why it's gone down. And also another factor is specific videos that you can make on a topic and do better than others. So like how to do intermittent fasting for serious weight loss or how to eat one meal a day, it's one of the highest search type of videos on those subjects they do really well and that's why when I made them in the past they've done really well but I've been finding recently yeah I'm trying to think as many different different things that I can talk about on intermittent fasting for example and a lot of time this does not get many views at all and it's all about me creating content that's going to affect as many different people as possible. And what I had on my Sunfruit Dan channel is for the first two years I was talking about a specific topic. It was doing okay, not that well. Then I became passionate about other things, started talking about other different things, and I noticed that I was getting way more engagement, way more views, and helping way more people. So it was helping me more go in the direction of affecting as many people as I possibly could with the content that I was putting out. So it was a win-win situation. So I'm starting to have that thought process and think, should I do what I did on that channel? Is it just, I've made so many videos on intermittent fasting and there is maybe other things that are more important that I should be talking about that would have more people watch and then I could influence more people in a positive way. So that is my thought process that I'm going through and it's making me think, should I just completely stop making intermittent fasting videos altogether or rarely, ever make them because what I say is I am knowledgeable and passionate about many different things calisthenics minimalism being a digital nomad living the life of your dreams and creating the life of your dreams law of attraction spiritualism no fab veganism the list just goes on and on and on and on and on so there's many different things that I could possibly share with the world that would help people in a positive way and many of those things I've never talked about on this channel quite a few of them I have them, quite a few of them I have not so I'm thinking that it would be good for me to experiment with making other videos that's why the last two videos I actually made were things to do with Thailand and living in Thailand to see if people like that and it's called what is termed sampling any business it's like trying out different things putting a few feelers out there seeing which ones grab which ones don't the ones that grab you would do more of that and the ones that don't you just discontinue making them so it's type of experimentation which is really good for anyone to do in any type of businesses that are creating which yeah YouTube is a business for me but what I say is it's my passion purpose whether I'm earning money from it or not I will be doing it 
because it's something that allows me to be super super creative and it's something that makes me feel the best that I can do and that's why I got into YouTube around five years ago not for the money at all I used to be insane for the money and I was earning so much money and I said screw this I'm not gonna do this anymore and then just started pursuing what I love to do and making a lot of YouTube comment like comments I was gonna say then content and then inevitably over time it sent me in a direction where I could earn an income from it so actually being able to turn what I love and what I'm passionate about into a job which doesn't even necessarily feel like a job at all and there's some dogs that have seen me over there so we turn back around <laughs> they think that I'm coming to their territory <laughs> so they're guarding it so yeah we go away from there not that I'm necessarily scared of dogs but I don't feel like facing any dogs what you do with dogs in Thailand you used to be scared of dogs just a quick tip you're ever in Thailand because there's a lot of dogs around especially street dogs is don't be scared and run away from them if you come face to face with them you need to be the alpha male so to speak and dominate them and what I normally do is if they come for me I actually run towards them and growl at them and just scare them off and now they've gone away because I've gone away from the territory so yeah, I'm just going through this process at the moment. Since my other YouTube channel got shut down, which was my main channel, for the last two months I've been questioning, what am I doing? Where am I going? What do I, <laughs> like, it's like a process of refinding myself. And I'm trying my hardest with the content on this video, well, the videos that I create for this YouTube channel. A lot of time they're not doing as good as I hope that they would do. But maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Maybe I'm just making content that's not going to do that well. And I am going to start digging deep into learning from certain YouTube experts out there how to create even better content, how to optimize my channel and do other things so I can just be the best YouTuber for myself and for other people as well. So, yeah. It's just one of those times. I've had this happen many times in my life. I think everything's on track and then things get shook upside down especially with my other channel getting shut down and then I go through a process of like rethinking everything and that's just something that's going on for me at the moment so what I want to say to you is what content would you like to see me talk about more on this channel that I haven't before like I said I'm going to list as many things as I possibly can off that you could choose from so anything on s spiritualism veganism calisthenics I'm not going to talk about no fat, you're not allowed to really talk about that on YouTube anymore, that's an issue, so I'm sorry, I can't talk about that. Conscious relationships, conscious communication, uh, being a digital nomad, moving somewhere like Thailand, or creating more of the life of your dreams, creating your dream career, how to manifest the most ideal, intimate partner for you to form a conscious relationship with. Minimalism, which I have mentioned earlier on anything focused upon like health weight loss I'm trying to think of some other things as well there's just there's just so many things but i think there are probably the main things oh and even how to create the best thumbnails for youtube possible how to create a youtube channel how to make well how to make video content how to do editing in Photoshop, how to edit videos. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I was gonna say how to skateboard, but I'm skateboard if you do remember how to skateboard, I did it for eight years. But yeah, they are, yeah, I think the main things that I could share with you. So let me down below. Well, let me know down below, I said that incorrectly then. What type of content you'd like me to do out of the ones that I've just mentioned. And maybe there's some, topic you'd like me to talk about that I didn't necessarily mention that I could make certain videos on but you could ask me and I might be able to make them for you because there's many other things that I'm into that I necessarily haven't listed off that I can think off the top of my head so yeah we should see and I will say I'm also very passionate about making a lot more vlogs showing you what I eat in a day what I'm getting up to where I travel to and so forth and making yeah that type of in life content yeah because I just want to make sure with whatever I'm doing I'm just maximizing the results that I get from it 
Not that it's all about numbers, that's what I say, it's not all about numbers. As long as whatever I'm sharing is affecting one person in a positive way, that's all that matters. And as long as I'm enjoying doing what I'm doing, then it's absolutely fine. But I have found before, like with my other YouTube channel, that I was focusing upon things that really was not helping as many people as possible and I couldn't get the much, well, as much back from it as possible. And then I found something else that I could work on that was way better for me to work on, maximizing the results from it and so forth. Yeah, it's about, with anything in life, is effort to worth. Is it worth me putting hours and hours and hours into videos that don't get that many views and, help, that's help and not helping as many people as possible? No, not necessarily. It's about being smart. So that's something I also need to be taking upon myself is really doing more research into the video content that I'm going to make before. See if it's worth doing it. If it's not, then don't do it all. And only make the content that seems that it's worth me doing. And that's what so many people do with YouTube content. You need to play it smart, man. You can apply that to anything in life. It's not about rushing. It's about doing the research as much as possible and just strategizing and working out how you can do things the best possible. So yeah, that's the end of this video. There's my lovely place that I'm staying at. That I've lived at for months and months and months. I'm gonna move out very soon at the end of the month. Not sure if I'm gonna stay here or move somewhere else. <sighs> Who knows, it's all up in the air. It's another <laughs> topic to, to talk about in another video. Um, and yeah, if you'd like me to just make more videos about myself and my life and other things, just let me know as well. Or if you like inspirational and motivational videos, there are two other things I thought of as well. See, so yeah, I'm going to get my way. I want to get out, get to the beach, get in the sea. Something that makes me feel amazing every single day. So if you like the video, like it down below. Please share this with others. Leave your questions down below and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure if you want to be notified of when new videos are uploaded, as always, click the subscribe button down below, click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. Man, <sighs> give me that sun. Sweating like a mofo. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those games. Peace.